All right, here's what I want to do. So here's the Pacific. And it had this light in it. Uh, but since we're going to do a little wiring, here is a bridge rectifier resistor. A super bright white LED. I don't have any yellow ones that are as bright as this. And this plastic lens here um, it'll, it'll cut down the brightness a little bit but this is pretty bright and the idea is to mount it in here and then connect it to the power which we're going to put on this little PC board that will allow us if we get the power up to this board we can connect right on with the bridge rectifier and the light will not be directional, it will be always on, which is fine. It also tells us if the wheels are dirty. If the light goes, if the light doesn't come on, that means the wheels got to be cleaned. But as long as the light's on, it means you got power. Now here's the weight that was in here. And it weighs 3.4 ounces of steel weight. Here, it's 3.4 ounces of lead weight. I think... With some cutting and stuff we can probably get this in here and there's a lot of room in here yet so let's see we'll see what we can do here figure out a way to get that in there here it is so I got this loaded up with lead and this little stack here if I get this stack all in here which is totally open then this will be a half ounce heavier than when we started which is good and I can probably find other ways to put that stuff too. But that means if you wanted to add a Tsunami 2 with speakers, you have that much room and that's more than enough. But here's what we're doing. So this, is, this one's a DC one for now, but we have to be prepared for in the future. The Shadow may want to have... DCC in this so that's how we're doing it we're doing it as if we were going to put it in all right so down here there are two wires there's a rivet and then there's this this uh, little brass plate that's where the the power comes from for the motor we're going to put that power onto this PC board PC board straight across to the motor and for now we're putting a piece of tape here and here to cover this wiper down here. If we were putting in the decoder, we would remove that and we would put some liquid electrical tape there. But since we got to come back in here later, this tape will be just fine for a little while and it will be easy to just pull it right off. Motor will sit down like this. Two wires come over. We're good to go. Headlight is in. Should be super bright. Lots of room. Very easy. So we're in we're in really good shape. We're gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna put on the the uh, two the two trucks, and then we're gonna close it up and give it a test. Okay. While I'm putting together the front and rear trucks, I did notice something that I had not noticed before. So. These trucks on, on both both the uh, Mikado and Pacific, if you can see there, uh, this piece here, oops, on the inside here, this piece right there, that does indicate that it is possible to get power from this. Okay, and this is metal. The spring was a little rusty, so I coated that with OxGuard. And it does screw in here, and the spring connects on in there. So what I did was I, where it screws in, OxGuard, 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 and this wheel is cleaned, and then gets OxGuard. In the rear, I don't know how much power this thing will really pick up, but it does make metal to metal contact so ox guard there wheel ox guard now 
one of the things we do have to do is this little thing here, this little wire, is what brings power from the tender to, to the locomotive. So that definitely needs to get painted with some oxygen. Remember, when this dries, it dries into a dry film. And it may look dirty, but with that light arrangement we have, we'll know if it's dirty. The light will go out if it's dirty. So we're, we're good to go on that. Okay, and I've done that on both of these locomotives. Now that they're prepped, I can put the, the trucks back on. Then, hopefully, we'll put it on the track and see what we got.